What is up guys, my name is Prentai and welcome back to another video. Today is another Know Your Boots and today we're talking about this thing here. I don't mean Jose Cuervo, I'll be saving that for another couple of episodes and talking about the brand then. We're going to talk about tequila today and the facts about tequila, you know, the diff why you get different types of tequila from like silver, uh, anejo, respirado and gold um, and also why tequila is called tequila and why other spirits similar to it that taste the same obviously aren't tequilas. Now, much like cognac, which is a region-specific beverage in France, tequila is a region-specific beverage in Mexico. So, unless tequila, or unless this product is made in the tequila region in Mexico, then you can't call it tequila. It's gonna be in, I think it's a 65 kilometer radius of the, the mountain, the volcanic mountain. And this is why, obviously, why it gets called tequila. Now, most stuff that you do drink will be tequila because there's like really rich volcanic soil obviously around that area which allows it to grow the blue agave plant which is obviously which makes tequila and gives it its flavour. You can also get agave syrup as well, blue agave syrup which is amazing on pancake. But anyway back to tequila, more than 300 million blue agave plants are harvested each year from this region to make tequila which is obviously why there's never a shortage of it as well. And there obviously there is other areas in Mexico as well that are allowed to make it by law, um, but they are in the surrounding area. I think it's like a, it's like 65, sorry, 65 kilometers and you can call it tequila regardless. And it's like 100 kilometers, but you have to have specific like uh, permission or something then to call it tequila. It's something complex like that. It, the Mexican laws on it are very um, scarce and interesting. Like not many people kind of know them exactly. So that is the rough uh, estimation of what it is. Now. Different types of tequila, obviously, there is for silver, uh, respirado, anejo, and then gold. So, silver tequila is your base tequila, which is after the distillation process of the plant and everything else, you're left with this thing which is clear, which is your silver tequila. Then we move on to respirado. Now, respirado is rested in Spanish, I believe, or it's roughly translates as rested in Spanish. Uh, and this means uh, this tequila has been then rested for at least a minimum of three months in a white oak barrel, which obviously gives it a slight tinge to the color, which is why obviously it's silver, and then you get the, the respirado, which is a kind of goldish color. Then you move on to the anejo. Now, anejo is obviously aged. Now, in order to call your tequila anejo, it has to be rested or aged in a barrel for a minimum of 12 months. So obviously that's why you get silver, then respirado, then anejo. Gold, on the other hand, which is probably the most common one that you drink because it's the one that you shot, because it's the cheapest. Now, the reason it's the cheapest, it's also the kind of similar price to the silver, but gold is literally just silver tequila with shit chucked in it to one, slightly dilute it in volume and also give it a better looking color so people think it's of the same class or the same uh, style as an Anejo or Respirado. So really, if I was to rank them in order of like best to worst tequila, you'd start with the gold as the worst, then your silver, then your Respirado, then your Anejo. Now, in order for tequila to be tequila as well, it has to be 38% or above volume alcohol. Um, however, there is one country in the world that has a different rule to this, and you can probably tell what it is. It's the United States of America. In the US, if you want it to call it tequila, it has to be above, or you want to sell it as tequila in a bar, it has to be above 40% ABV or like 80 proof. Which is really stupid because this American be like, we want a difference on it because we're American and yeah. but. That's pretty much it. That's the information you guys are gonna get on tequila today. Recommendations for drinking it? Um, nope, not gonna say shot it because it's really stupid unless you do suicide shots, which I have done. If you haven't seen, by the way, they'll be click the video up here. I have done suicide tequila shots. They are a bad idea. But two way recommendation drinks I'd probably drink it in is tequila sunrise and a margarita are the two classics you can have it in. Really good flavors with this. I mean, your margarita, tequila, agave syrup, and lime juice is all you really need. So it's kind of like just tequila, bits that make tequila, and lime juice shaken up, strained, just straight up as it is. Maybe a little bit of salt in the room as well, depending on what your preference is. But that's tequila. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, feel free to smash the like button. It'd be much and really appreciate it. If you are new around here as well, please make sure you hit subscribe. If you have any products you want to know about for next time, make sure you let me know what they are in the comment section down below. Feel free to check all my social media, guys. The links to them will be in the description. Other than that, guys, until next time, I've been the Prince Eye, and I'll see you in the next one.